How about a little hot bullet from Sierra Nevada? Hey, what's up everybody? Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Tonight I'm taking a look at one from Sierra Nevada, one of their new releases. This is a spring release. It is their Hot Bullet Double IPA. So this one comes in at 8% ABV, 60 IBU. You're probably starting to see this out there in the marketplace. Actually, by the time I release this video, you have probably already seen it. It is a spring seasonal. Um, on the back, it makes mention. Features a new technique we're hitting the beer with. A double barrel slug of magnum hops and lupulin dust. Lupulin dust is actually something that seems to be coming, uh, seems to be becoming more popular now. So uh, seeing, this, seeing that on a lot of different beers taking place. So we'll see, maybe that'll be the thing for 2018. A lot of people are starting to use the source of hop flavor and aroma. So that's from the lupulin powder right in the fermenter for a ballistic burst of aggressive hop character. So this one sounds pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and get it open and get it into a glass and see what it has to offer. So there we go, hot bullet into the glass. Check it out there. Nice golden orange tint. Lots of carbonation taking place. I don't know if you can see all the carbonation streaming up there. Lots of good bubble action for sure. A head that sits barely off white. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a clear white color, but it's got a nice frothiness to it. Should leave a lot of lacing. Get the light behind it. It almost becomes like an illuminated straw type color. As far as the aroma, definitely getting a nice hop feel out of it. I'm getting actually some pine out of here, but I'm also getting a little bit of the sweetness from the malts as well. A nice little balance being found in there. A nice little dankness from everything from the hops. Kind of like the balance that's taking place as far as the uh, flavor. Wow, that is very smooth. A nice smooth, 8% ABV double IPA. You're getting some of the malts right there in that flavor. You're still getting the essence of some of the hops, but not as bitter as you would expect it to be. You get a nice smoothness through this beer. You get more of the bitter, I think, in the initial than you do in the finish. Goes down very easily on the back end. Not much throat scratching really taking place. Carbonation sits very, very nicely on this one. Wow, that's got some good flavor to it. Leaves a nice amount of flavor in the mouth as well. Sits more as a medium uh, body beer. Not overly heavy, not really boozy, not getting any of that coming through. Carbonation sits very nicely on this one, not overly carbonated in any way. And the texture has a great sturdiness to it. The head is still hanging in there, just over a finger of head still left, so we're getting that there. But the smoothness of the finish is really surprising how well it actually goes down in the back end. And you're still picking up a little bit of that malt balance in the taste as well as that hop flavor. This is a nice actual smooth one that a lot of people that uh, may not be IPA type fans can really, I think, kind of enjoy. I think if you're into double IPAs, I think you'll be pleased with this offering from Sierra Nevada. I definitely like this one more than a couple of their other ones that have come out more recently. This one is a nice little find and hopefully... You know, right now it's a spring release, but hopefully they'll uh, bring it back some more or two in the future. But a nice little deal done, I guess, using that lupulin powder actually did work out. But this is the Hot Bullet Double IPA from Sierra Nevada. Check out the description below, and of course I'll put in there my overall view and ratings for this one. But definitely one I say to uh, give a shot. Thanks again for swinging by to check out another video. I look forward to catching you guys next time. As always, keep drinking that good craft beer. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will catch you next time. And remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers.